you know, we are blessed as a country you know, to have so many species, different kinds of species of animals, plants. You're blessed to have coral reefs, beautiful landmarks, you know, an amazing country actually. I'm afraid that maybe we're so used to it, you know, that we're starting to take it for granted. Um, my name is Amin Hataman. I'm from FIS, Fountain International School. I am very concerned about the environment here. Growing up in Mindanao, you know, I spent a big deal of my childhood there. I had it as my standard of how the environment should be. And when I came to Manila, right, um, I was just, you know, surprised by how modern everything was, but also by the lack of nature in a sense. So, you know, it made me want to work on a project like this and help out as much as I can, do as much as I can with the little power I have. Learning that the Philippines is the third largest polluter of uh, plastic in the ocean is something not to be proud of. Because of that, one makes, makes you think, how can we help you know, address that problem and hopefully make the Philippines be more responsible in disposing of uh, the plastic. Aside from the shift in um, the way we think about the use of plastics, another uh, very important um, solution to addressing plastic waste is the use of biodegradable materials. The main idea is that it's a biodegradable plastic made from nata de coco. Of course, yeah, it's biodegradable, which means that <clears throat> compared to the normal commercial plastic that we use nowadays, it doesn't take such a long time to degrade. That's why if it's you know left alone or if it's just thrown in the garbage and no one picks it up, it won't you know start to clog the drainage pipes. It'll just melt away. Uh, nata de coco is um, a dessert, pretty much a, a weird thing to make plastic from, but it's fermented coconut juice in a sense, solidified uh, mainly here in the Philippines. It's used as a snack. We get the pure one and we put it inside a mixture that will, in a sense, catalyze the uh, no, properties and help it develop the properties that it has now. And then we sun dry it to make it more, in a sense, translucent and stronger. It's pretty much a prototype, so we haven't necessarily finished a plastic yet. We just uh, sun dried it yesterday. I'm really happy with you know, how transparent this is. I've, we've never, of all the plastics we've made, this is, I'm pretty sure, by far the most transparent. And I mean, I can sort of like, you know, put my hand behind this and I can, you can kind of see it. And yeah, it still retains, even though it's uh, this thin and transparent, the properties that, it is, that you know, other plastics have. It's still strong. Hopefully there's more to come and hopefully we'll be able to improve this more. Well, of course, we're an archipelago, so it would be normal for a, a big, you know, uh, a big part of the population to be dependent on, you know, products from the ocean. Normally, when people throw trash, they don't think to that extent. Of course, hindi ka makakita ng tao parang tatapon sila na just, oh nga, yung fisherman. No, it's very rare that that happens. People do know how, how big of an impact this is. I think there's ano, a chance naman of uh, helping these guys out. Yes, there is a problem, uh, especially on the plastic waste. There are studies conducted by the DNR and on waste, and the uh, majority of the waste that, uh, we are be, uh, that are being produced by the people are made up of plastics. Um, this is evident every time we do coastal cleanups, where majority of the waste collected in the ocean are made up of plastics. Because of the effect of plastics to our uh, marine habitats, the, the fishery production is also affected because uh, once a marine habitat like the coral reefs are, are destroyed, um, fish also tends to decline in numbers because uh, these uh, coral reefs, uh, seagrass beds, and mangroves are important for fishery production. 
nag-start kami noong September 11, 2011 doon sa panawagan na mag-gusto clean up para ipakita yung kaseryosohan ng mga residente, mga environmentalists, individuals na concern doon sa pangalaga ng kalikasan na uh, pangalagaan itong Freedom Island kasi siya yung nag-iisang critical habitat sa Metro Manila at saka last mangrove frontier dito sa Metro Manila. Bumabalik yung dumi, lalo na kapag may pagkatapos ng ulan, bagyo. Dahil nga yung Manila Bay na part na part yung Freedom Island ay ano siya, siya yung pinakalagusan ng mga tributaries ng mga ilog, kanal sa buong Metro Manila. Kaya lahat ng basura na galing sa buong Metro Manila, kapag umulan, ano, doon yung kumbaga pinaka-imbakan niya. Kaya kapag umulan, balik ang basura. Kaya may kita uli na, tampak uli yung basura. Uh, well, Filipinos uh, find convenience in using plastics. Um, everything you buy uh, is sometimes be, uh, have multiple packaging. And another one is for economic reasons, especially those uh, people buying um, what we call tingi. You know? uh, rather than buying the in bulk, uh, they, they buy uh, the ones in sachets. You know, maliit lang yung plastic na to. Wala naman tong magagawa. Itapon ko na lang. Marami na rin basura dyan eh. Right? It's just, kasi you think that there's already so much trash. So why not just throw it? It's just one plastic. The thing is, how many times you do that and how many people think like that? And once everyone starts to think like that, it's going to, in a sense, have a snowball effect. Siyempre, una, um, dati naman ang buhay tayo na walang plastic eh. Yung mga, mga magulang natin. So, siyempre, parang sa atin, lalo na sa mga kabataan ngayon, napakalaga na pangalagaan yung kalikasan kasi lahat ng disaster na nagaganap ay may kinalaman doon sa pagsalaula natin, pagsira natin sa kalikasan. It would just be nice for us to be able to find an alternative, you know, um, going to supermarkets, right? You know, when we don't need to necessarily hold on to those plastics long enough. Maybe sure, the nata de coca plastic can come in there. Uh, well, at the end, I hope to see it sort of like be most more used, hopefully, than commercial plastic. I know it's sort of like a it's a long shot or maybe it's like still far away but that's really what I want to happen.